Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. And by now, most of you have gotten a glimpse or at least a preview of Jana Duggar's special day, her wedding and the celebrations following the wedding. So Jana has been on her social media sharing loads of photos from the ceremony before and after and even shared a snapshot from her first dance. Yes, first dance. The one thing that was frowned upon at any Duggar wedding because dancing is always looked at as an activity that may spark up unwanted desires. So in a normal reception for fundamentalists, they fellowship after, they eat, maybe some fun games, but it ends there. So I think it's safe to say that Jana has stepped away from the fundamentalist culture and doing things the way she wants it. So I am not mad at her for that at all. On another hand, Janet did not take the frugal route at all. She spent about $75,000 in her wedding, according to people.com. You know the golden rule in the Duggar house. If you grew up watching the Duggars, their rule is buy used and save the difference. They don't like debt. They don't even like having a mortgage. This did not apply to the wedding. The venue alone was about $10,000 and she had 500 guests. So you do the math. Jenna shared parts of her ceremony, exchanged her vows, she and her mom before the ceremony, bridal party, and some moments from the reception like cutting the cake. But I also noticed that there is one person in particular still not seen in any photos, and that's Jill. Now, Jill did say, my sister is now married, and she posted the People.com article, but there was no photos of her. Even if Jill was at this ceremony, which there's not been, been any evidence saying that she was or wasn't, which I actually believe she was there because it would just be very weird for her not being there because... Jill and Jana grew up together. They were best friends. There's no way she would miss out on this special day. However, another thing I found odd was she and Derek posted on their social media the day right after the wedding that their book, Counting the Cost, has been edited and they were promoting um, the sale of that edited version. I mean, do you guys find that a little bit odd? Now, people were in their comments saying, give Jana her time or... You know, this could have waited, but I honestly don't think it was calculated because that just doesn't seem like something Jill would do. But I do find it really weird that they're promoting an edited version of their book right when this news comes out about Jana. I'm not going to spend too much energy on the Jill absence because quite honestly, there were many not pictured. Like I didn't see pictures of Jim Bob, even though we know he was there. I didn't see Josie. Uh, there were a few other of her siblings that I didn't see but they could have been there. But I will pay close attention when Jana releases her wedding video on her channel soon. So Jana and her husband, Stephen, they did also buy a home in Nebraska for $250,000. They have been doing some renovations. And of course, with Jana's skill, I'm pretty sure that this is going to look like a million dollar home once it's complete. It looks very, um, I guess you could say outdated now, but I'm pretty sure once it's all complete, She's going to show the final and it's going to look nice. But how in the world is Jim Bob and Michelle going to navigate their life without their what I call living assistant there? I mean, we also have another Duggar wedding that may be coming up soon in the months. Jason, we know he announced that he was courting someone a few months back. And I just feel like how Duggar time works, there could be a wedding within the next several months. However... Overall, I think the wedding was very beautiful. It was very modern and chic and all of that fundy stuff was non-existent. Like I wouldn't look in a magazine at her wedding and say, oh, this must be a very fundamentalist wedding or a cult-like wedding. You know, it just looks like a normal wedding that looked very nice. But I want to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below. I will keep you guys updated. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.